exactly what a, a mind control robot oh. can do. The idea is I have this sensor, uh, which is uh, basically reading brain waves. From the brain waves, we can infer how much concentration or how much um, meditation. In this case, we're just looking at concentration. So when uh, people come, they, they, they wear this, they concentrate enough, and that will trigger actions on the robot. Now right. it's getting just a bunch of noise, so nothing so is sure, happening. I can try it. So you, sure. you show so, me how to put this on. Yes. Right. So basically, put this behind your ear, okay. and then clip this on your earlobe. How is that good? Yes, like, like that. Okay. Calm down. Oh, the things we okay. do. The robot just said, I'm connected to your mind, so yes. it's reading my, my brain waves right yes, now? Yes, exactly. All right, so now, what, now what's the process? So now what you need to do is you need to focus on something. Okay. Uh, the idea is you think about something, whatever it is. Okay. Normally it's something you like, works really well uh, and uh, and you think about that and just that one thing and uh, if you focus enough uh, that will trigger actions on the robot and that will make it stand up. Explain to me how it works and, and what what this thing could actually do. So this is a fairly advanced robot uh, the platform is called a NOW okay. and uh, and this one in particular is called uh, NOW Elite and so it has 25 degrees of freedom which means he has uh, 25 motors uh, which, which can move in 25 different ways, so he could he could stand up if we concentrate enough. Uh, he could dance. Uh, he can talk, as you can hear him. Uh, he can also listen with his microphones. He can see you with the cameras and grab things with his hands. Basically, it's a computer uh, with a body, and the idea is uh, to develop applications to make it do useful stuff. The robot is connected Wi-Fi to the computer. The, the sensor is getting the data to the computer, the computer is processing the data and sending it to the robot, and then the robot is deciding what to do with it. What is it about now? What is the future of especially robotics kind of look like? Well, um, the future of robotics, I think it's, uh, it's very promising. We are, we are at a moment where uh, robots are actually becoming uh, increasingly more useful, and, uh, and now we are at the point where basically what we need to do is make software for the robots. I think that's, uh, that's the next step. And once we get them to do useful stuff, or at least fun stuff for them, then we'll, we'll unlock like many applications that can be done. There you go.